because it's sort of supply and demand if we don't no, buy I the products. Yeah. No, of course, it's basic economics, I understand. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the egg industry. Yeah. It's terrible, I know. Not good? Not good. This is Australia slaughterhouse. Australian slaughterhouse, yeah. Factory farms and... No, every country. Australia is very bad too. There's no better way to do it, I don't think. It's always bad. This is a gas chamber. Yeah, they suffocate and they burn from the inside out. The, the gas burns them. Terrible way. They want to sell a product at the end of the day. And the egg and the dairy industries are the cruelest on the planet. They're a lot more cruel than the meat industry because they suffer a lot more. It makes people think about it and they yeah. hopefully they don't support the industry. But I think in Germany they want to forbid, forbid it. Forbid it eggs? No, or meat? No, eggs, but uh, male, uh, male. Oh, yeah, I've seen. Yeah, that, then they'll just gas them more. Yeah. It's easier just not to, not to buy eggs, you know? So yeah, they steal the baby's milk and they kill the baby. The mother's uh, very distressed by it. Then she's yeah, it's not good, is it? Yeah, so I steer away from dairy products myself, and because it's uh, supply and demand. You know, you buy the product, it supports the industry, and it, yeah. you sort of pay for this to happen. They, yeah. they live to about 20 in, the, in a normal environment. So we're basically killing children. Yeah, the dairy industry hide this from the public because they've got to sell a product, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I believe if people knew what happened, they wouldn't consume the product. Probably. Probably. Same as hatcheries. Yeah. Yeah, the egg industry's a lot. Pretty bad. One day old chicks, they grind them up alive, so. What? Alive? Yeah, like that, just like that. They fall into a grinder. It's the first day of life. Because they're useless to the egg industry, they're males, they don't yeah. lay eggs. Yeah. So, this is standard practice. Standard practice. It's horrible, isn't it? Babies, little babies. So um, they only use the female uh, chicks, the male baby chicks get ground up alive, they, they kill them. So they go into this, they fall into this big grinder, in their first day of life. That's the egg industry. So if you buy buy egg products, that's what the money goes to this industry. You, do, you know that happened with eggs. Yeah. All eggs, organic, free range eggs, same same. Free range of things. Yeah, they still have to kill the male baby chicks. Animal products in general, very cruel industry. Bad for health, bad, bad for human health. Heart disease, diabetes, cancer. You know things like that. The laying hen has a life of suffering. Laying eggs, you know, it's, it's a life of suffering. It's disgusting. You guys um, eat meat and dairy and stuff like that? Eggs? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're more. Vegans don't just eat lettuce either. Burgers, ice creams, dairy free cheese, dairy free milk. There's so many alternatives. Being in Melbourne, so many vegan restaurants, and even shopping centres, they cater to you know, all these alternatives you can get yeah. that don't cause suffering. It's not good, yeah? It's not good at all. The animals, they know they feel pain. They're like dogs and cats, you know. Yeah, exactly. Never imagine if you have to my dogs. Imagine putting a bunch of puppies through that grinder. It's the same thing, man. Yeah. I lost 40 kilos being vegan, you know, so it's a lot healthier and it's better for the environment and the animals, so it's something to think about anyway. Trillions of marine life a year taken. Disgusting. Yeah, for a can of tuna, you can get many other options, you know. It's just hell. 
they have the heart and everything like that. Yeah, they, they, they can feel pain, they, they want to live, they, can, they suffer. You can to me one, mate. They deserve to live like we do, you know? Living in Melbourne, there's so many vegan restaurants or different alternatives. You don't have to support this. Yeah. It's a lot, man. Exactly. You know, it does, this doesn't have to happen. Man. Sea animals can feel pain, yeah? Oh no, it's not what I feel it in me. You can feel it? Yeah, cruel industries. Very it's really cruel. easy to just turn a blind eye to it. It is. And just live your daily life. Because they don't show you this because they got to yeah. sell a product. So at the end of the day, they want you to buy the product. I mean, I didn't know. Three years ago, I didn't know. I just ate, like, I just thought it was food. But then I realized there's a lot of the far reaching consequences of that and yeah, yeah. The, the, the animal that suffers because of it. Are you a vegan now? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Mm. Yeah, open up my. Yeah, yeah do the baby pigs yeah. and that's yeah, the very confronting. Yeah. But, uh, but I, I'm a lot more conscious of it now. Honestly, once you're aware of it, you yeah. can yeah. you can make a decision oh, yeah, based yeah, on that. Yeah. That's yeah, where it starts. Yeah, on a conscious level. Yeah. Did you know how the animals were treated in the meat and dairy industry? No. Yeah, they go for a lot of suffering and pain. And it's just a diet and lifestyle that reduces suffering because there's alternatives. There's there's other things you can eat and wear that don't cause this suffering to animals that feel pain. You know. Are you interested in a vegan diet or lifestyle or no? But you you don't agree with this. So, but do you think it's morally uh, right? That's what we do. You act against your morals by... Just what we do. I'm not a vegan. Um, I have no interest in being a vegan. No. But you think that's wrong though? Yeah. yeah, so lots of things in the world are wrong. Yeah. yeah the way um, asylum seekers are treated, um, you know, war in uh, war-torn yeah. countries. So but there are lots of injustices but you can in the world. you can change this from happening in your own day-to-day -day life. Like chickens like that I, I sort of would never rate but in cages, try to eat free range if I can. Free range chickens get treated like that. Do they? Yeah, they're just in a bigger area, a bigger shed. Free range eggs, the baby chicks get ground up alive. So the egg industry is very cruel. There's no good way that it happens. Like if you buy meat and dairy anywhere, you support some kind of cruelty. But it, it, the thing that we try to sh show people is you have a choice every time you go to down, sit down to dinner, whether you support cruelty like this or whether you, whether you don't. Because we have options now, you know. What would be the option? Be vegetarian? Vegetarians still eat dairy and eggs, which are more cruel than meat. They take the baby calf away from the mother. They kill the baby calf. Horrible. But vegan diets, there's alternatives here in Melbourne. So many vegan restaurants, so many vegan alternatives and it's just, it's rice, it's corn, it's potatoes, it's pasta, it's beans, it's vegetables, it's fruit, it's nuts, seeds, vegan burgers, vegan cheese, vegan uh, soy milk, uh, almond milk, all these things that don't contain suffering and death, you know, all these alternatives, why, why choose something that causes this to an animal, you know, just, they, they feel pain like a dog or a, or a cat, they suffer. This is, they spend their whole life in, in those cages like that, you know. It's horrible, I know. But you, you have a choice whether you support it or don't. You, don't. you don't have to put this in your body. If you eat this suffering and death, what happens to you? Supposed to eat animals. It's not good what they do to animals, is it? No. No. So, do you think it's good to show people this slaughterhouse footage? Yeah, it gives them awareness of what gives, they're doing. Gives them awareness. I just want to say, fantastic job you're doing, mate. And I wish I knew this, what you know now, at nine years old. And yeah. There's no, there's no reason to, to put animals through this for a sandwich, you know. But you got, you can make a change, man. You can make a difference. Everyone can. It's not up to us, man. It's up to the consumer.